In this video, we'll show you how to scrape the ASOS website and its products using our free web scraper, Parsa. ASOS is a well-known British fashion and beauty retailer that operates and ships globally to 195 plus countries. Founded in the year 2000 in London, ASOS offers their own label, known as ASOS Design, as well as more than 850 other brands, similar to an outlet retailer. The retailer offers men's and women's wear, shoes, accessories, makeup, and beauty products and jewelry. ASOS also also offers an impressive style match tool which allows you to upload an image and gives you a similar product using AI. Their you might also like feature is also built with AI and machine learning. According to the senior product manager at ASOS, Jason Gregory, ASOS has over 85,000 products on its website and averages 5,000 new products every week. That is a lot of data, which is great. It allows you to truly test parts of scraping capabilities. Before you begin this tutorial, make sure you register for your free parts of account and download parts up for free to follow along. The link is in the description below. Let's begin scraping the ASOS website. Scraping products. Start by opening Parsub and click the new project button. You may now enter the ASOS webpage you'd like to scrape. We will be using this URL to scrape menswear on sale. Click the start project on this URL button. Click the first product's name to extract it. The rest of the product's name should turn yellow. Click the next product name to train the Parsub algorithm. All 72 products on the front page should now be extracted. Rename this extraction to product on the left pane. Scraping additional data. To scrape relative data points such as each product's price, we need to use the relative select command. Start by clicking the plus icon next to your product selection from the last step. Choose relative select. Click the first product's name and an arrow should appear. Point your cursor to the price and click it to connect the arrow. All product names should now point to their respective price. Rename the selection to price on the left pane. Expand the selection and remove the URL as it's the same URL from our first selection. Redo these steps for other data points such as the percentage discount. Loading more products. When scraping more than a single page, we need to use Parsub's pagination. ASOS has a load more button after you scroll through the first 72 products. Start by scrolling to the bottom of the page until you see the load more button. Click the plus icon next to your page selection. Choose select and click the load more button. Expand the selection and remove the two attributes. Rename the selection to pagination. Click the plus icon next to your pagination selection. Choose click and a pop-up will appear. Click yes as this is the next page button. You can now choose how many additional pages you want to scrape. We will choose four which means five pages in total. You can choose zero to scrape every single page. You can now start scraping more than 72 products. Bypassing scraping blocks. Some websites block scraping using many different methods. Using Parsub's IP rotation feature, you can easily bypass blocks. Note that IP rotation is a paid feature of Parsub. To enable IP rotation, follow these steps. Click the settings cog on the top left. In the drop down, choose settings. You will now see the IP rotation checkbox on the left pane. Enable IP rotation and accept the pop-up. You can now scrape ASOS without blocks. Start scraping. Now that you have extracted product names and prices, set up pagination and IP rotation, it is time to begin your scraping project on Parsub servers. Start by clicking on the green Get Data button on the left pane. You can choose to test, run, or schedule your scrape. In our case, we will choose Run to scrape the five pages which we chose in the pagination step. Once the scrape is complete, you will be able to download the file as a CSV or JSON. If you followed our tutorial correctly, your data should look like this. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on scraping ASOS products. If you want to learn more, we also have a blog post on scraping e-commerce websites. Feel free to reach out to our Parsub support team if you have any questions or run into any scraping issues. Happy scraping!